Okay, so you guys get to peek behind the curtain a little bit. So my current setup uh, is out in my garage. I got an old refrigerator for free off of Craigslist. Um, and then I paid about 30 bucks for this thing. This is an Inkbird um, temperature control unit. It does cooling and heating. Uh, you, like the uh, brew bucket, you can program it for granular control of of temperature. Um, it has a, a temperature probe that runs from it, um, this cord here, and I just have it running in through the through the seal on the door. And then if we open it up here, you can see it just kind of dangles there. Now this is based off of ambient temp, but if you leave it in there long enough, your your brew is going to reach that temperature as well. So this is, you know, it's not a huge refrigerator. It's a little bit bigger than apartment size, smaller than what you find nowadays, but for back in the 70s, it was probably quite the unit. Um, I have a 15 gallon spidal uh, ferment, uh, uh, fermenter that I use for beer because of the headroom space it provides, but it wouldn't fit in there with all the the shelves and stuff that you have on the doors uh, with the, you know, the dairy drawers and whatnot so I just cut it out which you can do without hesitation when you get a refrigerator for free off of Craigslist and you want to make beer so this is my current setup that is a batch of blackberry mead uh, with some secondary additions in it I'm getting ready to um, be pumped into a, another container and cleared so I can bottle it Anyway, if you can afford the space, this is by far the best option for a fermentation uh, chamber. There's no management. It's set it and forget it. Come out in a couple of weeks, check and see where you're at. You can cold crash things in here to make things clear faster. Um, if you wanted, you could rig a light bulb in there to raise the temperature inside the fermentation chamber and um, that could click on and off with, uh, with the Inkbird unit as well to help raise the temperature. You can also take that, that temperature probe there and you could place it in some water so you have a more accurate representation of what's going on inside your brew, but I find this is good enough. Anyway, I hope you found this informative. Talk to you guys later.